This right here is the Next Dock 2, and it's essentially a laptop shell without the guts of a traditional laptop. There's no CPU, no memory, not even an operating system. Hi everyone, Tao here. The idea is to rely on the brain power of your smartphone to do all the heavy lifting. Samsung has a software feature called DeX, which extends your device into a desktop-like experience when plugged into a display. So could this be a cost-effective solution for those with just basic computing needs? Let's find out. Priced at $259, I've been very impressed with the build of the next dock. Although it is a bit heavy at 1.4 kilograms, it looks and feels like an expensive laptop. And yes, you can open it with one hand. There are three USB-C ports, but only one will work with DeX and another being reserved for charging. The HDMI port can be used to connect something like a gaming console. The micro SD card slot is interesting since it allows you to transfer and keep stuff stored on the next dock. The 13.3 inch IPS display is full HD and despite some light bleeding, it's still a very nice display to work off of. There are also four speakers which are tucked underneath the hinge here. They aren't gonna blow you away, but will do the job for casual use. There's also a headphone jack, so you can always opt to plug in for a better listening experience. The trackpad is my least favorite part of the next dock. It has a nice mouse pad like finish, but there's a lot of cursor drifting and scrolling feels kind of slow. It's also only clickable near the bottom corners, and while typing, grazing my palm on the trackpad led to the cursor jumping around quite a bit. It'll get the job done, but I chose to disable it and just go with the mouse. The keyboard, on the other hand, is solid and offers a great typing experience. It's backlit and features a variety of functional shortcuts on the top row for things like screen brightness, volume plus media controls, and a battery indicator. There's a built-in 6800 mAh battery to power everything, and it'll also charge your phone up at the same time. I've been getting around 5-6 to six hours of battery life. Once plugged in, if I didn't tell you, you'd probably never guess it was running off my phone. The laptop shell concept sort of makes more sense long term too because the moment you upgrade your phone, BAM! You've just upgraded your laptop too. It's also technically always connected since it's running off your phone's data or Wi-Fi connection which is a nice convenience. DeX obviously has its limitations but for how the average person uses a laptop, it's totally capable. It really boils down to what type of software you need to run for your workflow. Samsung's browser feels just like a browser on my PC. The Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides experience are exactly like they are on my PC. Need basic word processing or the occasional number crunching in Excel? Not a problem. You can answer emails, watch content, even light photo or video editing are fine too. It really does feel like a laptop, but with the perk of having all your phone's apps and files easily accessible. The extra ports on the next dock came in really handy too. The USB-A port let me plug in my portable camera and transfer files over to the phone for editing on a bigger screen in something like Lightroom. You can also connect a gaming console to the HDMI port and use it as a portable display if you really wanted to. Something else I really like is that it powers on almost instantly and if it doesn't detect a signal, it'll automatically turn off to conserve the battery. So let's talk about this. Being able to use my phone at the same time is nice and all, but I really wish they included some way to mount the phone securely to the next dock. If I'm working off my lap, which you would expect to do with a laptop, having my phone just dangling off to the side worries me. The next dock is marketed as a great on-the-go solution and it does address one of DEX's main problems, which is portability. The obvious knock on it would be that it's essentially useless without your phone. Constantly having to plug and unplug your phone might become an annoyance for some. 
The portability definitely makes DeX more appealing and has me wondering why Samsung hasn't made their own shell yet. All things considered, I think there's a lot of potential here. If you're interested in this, I'd wait for the touch version, which should be coming out in a few months. It'll feature a touchscreen display with trimmed down bezels and probably a few other improvements over this version. So my question for you all, is a laptop shell the future of DeX? And could you see yourself using something like this? As usual, thank you all so much for watching. Until the next one, I'm out of here.